God bless, God bless, God bless. New Muslim American rap and the spirit of discernment basically. How does this relate to the Bible? If you're any child of God, empath, chosen one, star sees, whatever you want to call it, that basically you see a combination and a morphing within the Muslim faith, the hijab, the, uh, what do they call them? The hijabs, or the, hij or the uh, they, ha they wear the robes around their necks. They're white, purple, red. I think they can come in in different colors, but basically, I see it popping up and rap and rap even more from different rappers, such as Money Bag Yo, uh, all these different rappers is another one he's new I haven't seen him for where he calls himself white folks or he calls himself uh, white folks slim or white slim or something like that but he's like a Memphis rapper basically now he's wearing he has a star of David on his front forehead like I guess the implanting of the mark or whatever but it's a star of David and basically these are sellouts to the sellouts to the Masonic Jess Woodson uh, system, which is rooted in Satanism. You're not going to convince me otherwise. It's deeply rooted in Satanism. That's the root of it. It's just full on deception because that's what the enemy loves to do is deceive people. But basically, what God was showing me, I was praying about this, that He showed me things like this that basically now. Even in uh, this rapper, uh, Kevin Gates' videos, where now he pushes the same agenda, where now he, he worships in the Muslim faith. And basically, it's all deception to bring forth. See, why do you think all these artists, including especially now, heavily in the rap game, um, it's predictive programming, it's white horse symbolism. Why do I keep going on about the white horse symbolism? Basically, the reason meaning behind that is the reason that Muslim faith is on the rise because the Antichrist is going to be a Muslim. And the powers he's going to possess is going to be through science. And doing and be carried out by a spirit of demons. Um, demons that are being controlling this person and this being. It's the spirit behind it, everything behind it. It's called anti for a reason, nothing God within it. And the thing is about that is it, that is the belief system is it's not even going to be the murdering of Christians, but the murdering of non believers or new converts of the faith as a well. And see, I can even push it to a step further as in saying it's not even going to be Christians, it's anyone. You be you can be a non-Christian and refuse to take the mark. You'll still die. You'll still get your head cut off. I know what God showed me. I know what the Spirit of God, Holy Spirit, shows me. And it's the revealing of symbolism, illumination, the illumination, the white horse symbolism. And see, this is why I believe pre-rapture could be a thing, but here's the thing, I don't know, it's just like, the tribulation doesn't start off bad, it comes up through deception as in believing, you're going to believe, and no one's going to speak against this person, whoever comes on the stage, and they're not going to full out come out and say they're the, I don't know if they're going to come out fully say it at first that they're the Christ, but later on they're going to say, I am the Christ, I am the Messiah, and the desolation of abomination is going to come when he goes to the third temple, seats himself on the throne, and proclaims to be the Christ, the Christ. But he's the great deceiver, the Antichrist, the al Mahdi, Dijal, One Eye. Why do you think in the industry, even that new rapper called White Folks or White Slim, he wears an eye patch? Even in Disney Channel things, even in the Disney channels, you see these eye patches. It's. it's those people, I don't even know if they believe, like, 
what they're wearing or what they're doing, but they're deceiving you. And these things are highly scripted and whatever. I don't know. Maybe they read through the documents. I don't know, or because I know these documents they sign are in different languages, so maybe they don't understand. They're just trying to get their fame and fortune. But basically, these notes that they sign, these papers, they don't know what they're pushing. And so these these different symbolisms, such as the eye patch, is one. The white horse horses, which it's in every kind of music known to man. That's why every kind of music now, it don't matter if it's country, rap, pop, uh, I'm just bringing up and addressing the rap culture because they seem like they push it the hardest. The white horse symbolism, uh, the hijabs or whatever, it's all rooted in Islam, the Alamadi, Dijal, the Antichrist spirit symbolism, white horse, eye patches, Islam, all of it to bring forth the new world order, the Antichrist, and all this stuff, seven year period of tribulation, a seven year period of pure hell on earth. Hell on earth. Even in the Quran it talks about he will reign for nine nine to seven years, but mainly it's seven years. They're all on my deed. I don't know who's watching this, but make Christ your Lord and Savior today. But you see, everything is morphing into one thing to bring forth this new world order, the Alamadi, Dijal, Antichrist. Antichrist spirit runs this world. We're living in a free messianic system. We've always lived, lived in it. We always have been. They sacrifice babies at the altars. They do all this stuff. I know what Christ shows me. And he's given me these gifts to give to show you what's happening. So, God bless, God bless, God bless, amen and Godspeed.